What's up, Liron here. Today we're doing something rather unique. I'm gonna review this nib pen called Indigraph, okay? And this was sent to me by Inigo, the guy who invented this design. It's a special patented design. What makes it special mainly is that it has this vapor chamber at the top of the cap which allows water to vaporize and clean the nib so you never have to wash it. You don't have to worry about ink drying in it and ruining it or any of that. So let's take it to the table. I'm gonna show it to you up, up close um, and how easy it is to use. So here's the box in which uh, the pen came. Now I'll just, I just wanna uh, clarify, this isn't a paid promotion, okay? But he did send me the pen for free just so that I can try it out and perhaps share it here on YouTube and on Instagram. So here it is, and here you can see prototype number 21. Uh, so I don't know exactly the type you'll get, uh, but they do have the Kickstarter running, so I think if you invest in it, you will get one, and it may be a different uh, number. So here is the instructions. We're gonna look at the pen and the ink in just a moment. But basically, the main idea is that you have this cap that allows, uh, that, that cleans the nib. So here's how to do that. Here's how to fill it with ink, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. I'm in pretty much a noob when it comes to these types of pens. It was super easy for me, so that's a plus. You can change the actual nibs, uh, and here's how to clean it if you wanna clean the, the cartridge itself. Here are the types of ink it works with, pretty much every ink out there almost. Uh, so let's look at the pen. And I'm very grateful that they attached um, the actual ink container. Uh, because I don't have much of these, because again, I'm not using these pens a lot. Uh, I did test it out and it's super comfortable uh, compared to other nib pens that I tried, so that's a really good plus. Uh, so let me show you the actual pen. There's quite a lot to cover, uh, so I'm gonna go over it one by one. The first feature is again this, there's this small chamber and it's right next to the tip, uh, the nib. Let me show you. Here's the nib and it goes in like that, and this allows, there's a special membrane that allows the vapor from the water to um, clean the, the nib itself. So you don't really have to worry about it. Right now it's a bit dirty because I just <laughs> filled it and played around with it, but you don't have to worry about it generally. It just cleans it up, and it makes sure that the ink doesn't dry in the nib. That's as far as I could understand, which is a huge plus. You don't need to clean it up, basically. Now, uh, aside from that, uh, you get the cartridge area. It may squeak a little because I accidentally wet it a bit. But the refill process is very simple. Uh, like most of these pens, you just there's a piston here. You twist this handle and then it goes down and then you twist it back and it goes up and it soaks up the, the ink into the cartridge. So that's a really um, easy way of doing it. Um, which is really good because I don't, I don't like to rely on cartridges. I'd rather have this full tank and then refill it. Uh, wherever, whenever I want to. Uh, now, one last thing, this part is actually detachable, so if it's really a neat little piece of, of art, I would say, this pen, because uh, you can just twist this cap uh, and get rid of the top part if it bugs you, and I think I will get rid of it. I don't need that, and I'm probably not gonna use it for now. Um, and also, it's very comfortable from what I played around with it so far. It's really nice. And I have problem with nib pens. Sometimes they scratch the paper, but with this one, I didn't have it. So in any case, with that being said, let's move on to the demonstration. I'm gonna show you this one in action. Okay, so I feel like my description uh, of the pen doesn't fully do it justice because there's one point I haven't gone through. By the way, now I'm just creating a prep sketch and now I'm starting to work with the pen. One of the main consequences of having this self-cleaning pen is that you can actually use Indian ink with it successfully and it won't dry and destroy the nib. Now the meaning of that is that you can use this with uh, Indian ink which means uh, it's waterproof and you can paint with watercolor afterwards or any wet media. So especially here on this channel and the type of people that I know uh, are following me this is extremely useful because you can use this for urban sketching for doing uh, uh, ink and wash or line and wash, uh, which is one of the things that initially got me into watercolor painting, uh, which I'm really glad uh, that, that I got into. So this is what this pen means. Uh, I will say I tried quite a few 
fountain uh, nib pens before. Not as many fountain pens though, but a couple of fountain pens too. And they always felt like they're scratching the surface and they're very aggressive. With this one, I did not feel that. This pen is much better than anything I tried out so far, uh, which makes me really happy. I, I actually started writing with it. It's meant for calligraphy and drawing as well. Um, uh, and I actually tried writing with it my on my daily uh, awareness routine. I do in the morning, I meditate, then I write. And it's so comfortable, so much better than the rest that I've tried. So I'm just happy to have it and to have gotten it uh, as a gift. Um, I highly recommend you check out the, the Kickstarter if it's something that you may be interested in. I don't think it should be uh, too expensive. So this is a really good find, I think. Um, and in any case, with that being said, uh, we can uh, move on to wrapping up this video. This is really, it's, it just surprised me, this whole thing. Because I wasn't expecting too much, but this patent patented, uh, you know, cap... Uh, actually does the difference and it actually makes it keeps it cleaner and allows it to uh, last uh, longer I guess and work better with more types of ink uh, so in any case I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration and the review and with that let's wrap it up so this is it and here's my final result too I have to say this was so comfortable to use uh, especially compared to other nib pens that I tried I haven't used a lot of fountain pens but the nib pens I tried were so rough on the paper and sometimes they would scratch it so easily. And with this one, I had just so much fun. I really liked the end result itself. Uh, so kudos to them for making a pen that I think is really, really a good product. Um, I will link down below uh, to their Kickstarter. So I think you can like donate and then you get a pen. I'm not sure exactly how that works. I uh, would be sure to check that out in the description box below. Uh, another good thing with this is that it's suitable for um, uh, water resist, waterproof inks. So if you wanna uh, take it on the go and do some urban sketching, which is what initially got me into watercolor, that's a really good uh, solution for that. So I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Uh, let me know in a comment down below if you have any questions, any clarifications, any other product you want me to review. And I will talk to you again in another vid real soon.